Hi everybody, my name is Gabriele Gasparini and I work as an interventional cardiologist at Humanitas Research Hospital where I am the director of the CTO program. In the setting of coronary artery dissection, fixing the intimal tear with stent implantation can be extremely challenging if the distal wire position has been lost. Common complications are mainly related to the subintimal tracking of the wire in the attempt to gain the distal true lumen. This is because the periadventitial space represents the area of less resistance to wire progression compared to the true lumen. As a consequence, traditional workhorse coronary guide wires, and particularly the polymeric ones that are very slippery, are prone to enter the false lumen and enlarge the hematoma, facilitating its propagation. In such situation, the ideal wire should have a soft tip, high torque control, flexibility, and trackability. Among the wide range of available coronary guide wires, the SUA03 guide wire has unique structural features that make it ideal for gaining the true lumen into or distally to the dissectment segment minimizing the risk of enlargement and extension of the dissection. The SUA03 is a composite core, dual coil, non-tapered, flat tip guide wire, originally developed for tortuous collateral channel tracking. The composite core technology consists of combining a classical linear core wire with a second twisted wire in parallel, co-joined at the tip. The result is an increase and finer torque control of the tip. The dual coil technology consists of a second intertwined inner rope coil, that's so-called Act 1, within the classic outer coil, allowing optimal and durable shaping of the tip with improved directional control. The combination of these technical characteristics, such as shaping ribbon tip style and soft and low weight tip load, Combine it with the rope coil technology, ensure a non-traumatic advancement into the dissected segment, reducing the likelihood of propagating the dissection. The visual feedback during the advancement of the SUA03 wire is crucial to discriminate between endoluminal and subintimal tracking. A tip curling in the subintimal space is an immediate sign of subintimal tracking while the wire progression without any tip deflection, straight tip progression, stands for true lumen tracking. Such visual feedback, combined with high directional control, allow repeating gentle and non-traumatic attempts to move from the false into the true lumen without any contrast injection. In 2020, we published a hypothesis-generating case series where we described the soft tip load technique with the SUA03 guide wires as an effective strategy to gain the true lumen after coronary artery dissection, either before wiring or after wire loss. After this preliminary experience, we collected data coming from 10 mid to high volume centers worldwide. In this multicenter registry, we analyzed 75 consecutive cases of coronary artery dissection, both iatrogenic and spontaneous, treated with PCI. No clinical or angiographic differences were detected depending on dissection etiology. Dissection distribution was uniform between the left anterior descending, circumflex, and right coronary artery. The primary endpoint successful use of a SUA03 guide wires was achieved in 92% of the patient. No significant correlation was found with the use of a microcatheter, which was reported in 72% of cases. In 64 of cases, the first recanalization attempt was made with SUA03 guide wire. Overall PCI success was reported in 96% of the patient with no significant differences among patients with different origins, mechanism, and location of dissection.
And this is a case of a patient presenting with an acute coronary syndrome due to a, a tight stenosis of the distal right coronary artery. At the time, the operator tried to cross the lesion with the standard workhorse guide wires, but during the attempt to cross the lesion, the wire went subintimal and reiterated manipulation of the guide wires enters the subintimal space, enlarging the hematoma and uh, worsening the situation. And this is the first case uh, of the SWO 3 y in the context of coronary artery dissection. This was a patient, a post-cabbage patient, and during the attempt to reopen the LAD after predilatation, we lost the wire position and we had a huge and spiral dissection of the left anterior descending. And you can appreciate how the, uh, it was pretty easy to advance the SWO 3 y into the proximal LAD. Then you can appreciate the so-called wire curling at the level of the dissection in the proximal part of the LAD. And after gentle withdrawal of the wire and manipulation, the wire finally find the true lumen and reach the distal part of the vessel, uh, allowing an uh, excellent final result. This is uh, the second case. And uh, in this case, uh, we, we have to deal with a spiral dissection of the LAD. After predilatation, the operator lost the wire position and uh, we had to cross uh, once again the vessel and due to the tortuosity of the vessel, we decided to use up front a microcatheter in combination with the SUA03 wire in order to increase the torqueability of the guide wires crossing the tortuosity. And then, of course, after a SWOT 3 advancement, uh, we, we, we test the right position, the correct position, with a small tip injection that confirm the intraluminal position of the microcatheter. And after that, the wire went uh, the distal uh, segment of the LAD, allowing us to perform recanalization of the vessel with stenting. The case number three is uh, about uh, really a huge, long and spiral dissection of the right coronary artery, starting from the osteo till the PDA. And uh, you can appreciate how easily the SUO03 wire progress into the true lumen. And uh, in the mid uh, distal part of the RCA, we, we appreciated the uh, guide wire curling. So we we redirect the wire that easily find uh, the distal true lumen and uh, allow us to treat uh, with the stent, uh, achieving an excellent uh, final result. In conclusion, the soft tip load wire technique, uh, uh, in my opinion, it's a really safe and effective technique to adopt when you have to deal with coronary artery dissection. This is Gabriele Gasparini. Thanks for watching this video.